Right, um, and I'll be talking about it because at Constellar, that's precisely what we do. We build satellites to measure LSC, and uh, we do it in order to support environmental monitoring. This may be a bit of a broad concept, but for us, it's working with carbon, water, and energy. We believe that using heat as a proxy, uh, proxy measurement, uh, makes perfect sense for all of these. And one way of doing it, the most optimal way, is by uh, using satellites. So, to put it very bluntly, LST is the measurement of what a surface would feel like if you would be to touch it in a given location. Now, when I'm talking about surface, from the perspective of the satellites, it can mean many different things, because the surface is what the satellite will see when entering through the atmosphere. So the surface could be snow, could be ice, could be a lawn in your garden, uh, could be a roof of this building, but it also could be the canopy uh, of a forest or a crop. And I'm emphasizing uh, forest crops because at Constellar, agriculture is in our roots. Early on, when building the company, we figured that satellite imagery is not really used effectively when it comes to working with agriculture data. And we figured that we need to build a data set that will address some of the most tangible metrics in the ag sector. So we said, hey, what are the kind of most important data specifications in order to do exactly that? And we identified three of them. First one is, again, about working with thermal data, so infrared data. I mean, if you think about it, everything in the agriculture has to do with monitoring heat from water stress, uh, from evapotranspiration, transpiration, detecting diseases. For all of this, you need good heat measurements. The second aspect is about data frequency. You need this data on a very recurring basis, ideally daily or even hourly. That's our long-term ambition. Finally, when working with agriculture, we are looking typically at very large pieces of land. So our areas of interest that are in thousands uh, of uh, square hectares. And that's where the big swath of our sensor comes in. Now, we quickly realized that those specifications not only come into play in agriculture, but also in a few other markets, namely infrastructure monitoring, but more on that in a second. So I, since some of you raised your hand when I was asking about LST, I figured that portion of the people in the audience will be aware of the fact that there is already some data available, thermal data, namely, um, and most of it is available from the public missions. And, you know, we have Landsat 8 and 9, we have MODIS uh, aboard Tira and Aqua satellites, uh, we have Sentinel-3, obviously, EcoStress mounted on the International Space Station, and all of these data sets laid out the kind of foundations for our understanding of planet ecosystem it's really important to understand that these are probably the most important resources we have today at our disposal when it comes to doing any kind of uh, climate studies, ecological research, uh, et cetera. So what's important also to mention is that there are new missions coming, namely uh, the Trishna, which is the collaborative effort of Indian Space Research Organization and CNES, the SBG mission from NASA, so it's fair to say that as Constellar, we are kind of standing at the shoulders of the giants, and we want to contribute to all of those existing missions by providing data that is of higher spatial resolution, temporal resolution, but also radiometric resolution. So in here, we are talking about uh, the kind of thermal uh, accuracy. So talking about resolution, uh, I figure this will be the topic that will be of interest for some of the people here. This is an image from Sentinel-3. What's great about Sentinel-3 is you can get image uh, pretty much at any given location in the world daily. It's really a very impressive resource. Now, when it comes to an urban setting, I mean, looking at that, probably none of you can pinpoint the exact location, unless there are some people who can do that. That's really impressive. Um, but situation changes rapidly when we switch to this image. And what we're looking on right now is the result of some of the downsampling we as Consular are doing working with Landsat data. Uh, and in here, the situation changes. Uh, I mean, we uh, can see some detectable features. We see much finer amount of detail. Finally, 
most, important, most importantly, we can see exactly the thermal patterns. So long-term vision at Consular is to combine those two elements. So the temporal resolution from Sentinel-3 that I mentioned, ideally hourly, with a very high um, spatial resolution. 30 meters is the minimal threshold we want to go uh, as far as, as 10 meters. And uh, we're doing all this by uh, working with this uh, technology that we developed with some of the partners that are mentioned on the slides. Uh, this is the payload that is right now in the US, just concluded some of the testing, and we are right now waiting uh, for SpaceX to launch it. Um, and in the slide, you can see some of the most important characteristics that I mentioned before. Uh, so some of the elements that are crucial for our clients are about data delivery. We aim to deliver data within 20 hours of capture, high accuracy. So this is the aspect of radiometric resolution. Within a single shot, we want to be able to detect difference in temperature up to 1.5 degree. Again, very relevant for working with any kind of agriculture applications. So, when it comes to applications, I mentioned in the beginning, agriculture is where we spend most of our time. A lot of our customers are big agriculture uh, enterprises, and there's variety of applications that we work with when it comes to, to these. Yield modeling is probably the most predominant one, um, because in there we see very kind of tangible effects, and essentially that return of investment is, is, is very significant. And on the slide, you can see a set of assumptions that we have for uh, one of the experiments that we carried with uh, one of our partners in India, RMSI. We are working on Madhya Pradesh uh, region, quite a large area, 300,000 hectares. Um, and uh, instead of relying on weather stations, as the client is typically used to, we, we carried the analysis on uh, the full uh, kind of area using some of the data that is available today. And, well, here are the results. Long story short, there is very strong correlation between temperature measurement and yield. And um, the higher the yield, um, sorry, the, the lower the yield, uh, the, the better the, um, the, the lower the temperature, the, the, the better the yield. Um, and w with these kind of applications, the client was able to predict yield with, in advance of uh, 60 days. Now we are switching to Freiburg. I know there are quite a few people from Freiburg in the audience. Uh, we are looking at the analysis that we did last year um, during a fairly intense heat wave. And, um, we talked a lot about urban heat applications and monitoring kind of green areas in the cities. And using our uh, data, we were able to see the kind of balance between LST and the air temperature. We see that where vegetation has sufficient water, uh, it essentially indicates that green spaces are effectively regulating the microclimate in the cities. The situation changes quite rapidly in those places with uh, more dense buildup when there is a lot of concrete, asphalt, um, and this kind of lack of cooling capacity uh, leads to heat island effects um, in the long run. Um, and these are the, the kind of two applications that we uh, developed when working with some of our clients in the last couple of months. This is the summary. This is the product portfolio that uh, we are going to offer starting next year. Right now, we are working on our early access program, working very closely with customers, trying to identify their exact needs and how this data can drive their op operational efficiency. As you can see, uh, we have a fairly wide array uh, of products depending on the resolution uh, that is suitable to a particular application. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'd be very happy to talk to some of you uh, when it comes to understanding how this data could uh, play a role in your business. Here is a link to my calendar. Uh, more than happy to, to talk to, to anyone who has some ideas on how LST uh, could, could change your business. Thank you.